it's my birthday and I got up and I've just finished a walking meditation, a Dr. Joe walking meditation called, well, I guess it's walking with the divine. Wanted to start my day off on a positive note on my 52nd birthday and I've been receiving some like messages from the universe over the past week really and sometimes it takes a tragedy in your life to really start hearing the messages and embracing them one of the messages I received is we are all healers in our own way and one of the ways that I heal is through my voice my voice opened up. Sorry, there are like no seams here on the beach. And so I'm a little itchy and scratchy because they keep uh, biting me. <laughs> uh, there's not enough wind today to keep them at bay. But a message I received in the jungle in Peru when I went back in 2021 was, uh, well, it was the gift of opening my voice and singing again because I hadn't sang in a long, long time. And I just started singing out there in the jungle and, and singing in ceremony for the past couple of months, a few months. I haven't really, I mean, let's be honest, probably six months. I haven't been practicing my guitar. I haven't been singing and I've done more singing and playing in the past week than in the past six months pretty much so my voice is it's not the best voice in the world but it's pretty good and I need to be sharing my music with people because it's healing when people hear a beautiful song that has lyrics that touch the heart and you know maybe touches them in a way that this time that they hear it that it didn't touch them before all the other times that they heard it because our life changes and, and things we go through. And so now certain lyrics will have more meaning in different ways. So I, I know, I know that it's something I need to be actively pursuing is ways that I can share my music with people. So that is something I will be working on this 53rd year of my life. <laughs> Just I think I'm going to change the angle. The sun is sort of right in my eye. So I, I was listening to a Dr. Joe meditation and it was, uh, I know I've had it for a long time and I know I've heard it at least one time <laughs> before and, and did the meditation one time before. I think it was at one of his events, but it really had a completely different effect just like a music a song will have a different effect on someone at, at a different point in their life versus just hearing it on the radio every single day it was really focused on the heart throat pineal gland all, all the upper four chakras or energy centers as he calls them and it was all about opening the throat and to share your gifts share your voice share your power your truth Another thing that it talked about was, ah, oh, it was so powerful, you know, how we are all from divine source and be invited to the table of the masters, the alchemists, the magicians, <laughs> the avatars. I think that's the word he used. Invited to the table because we are all creative manifestors and powerful. So that's the message I was given today in this beautiful morning meditation and a message I just wanted to share with all of you and hope that you have a magical, beautiful, divinely inspired day. <laughs> I just wanted to add one more thing, um, which I felt was apropos because as I went to wash the sand off my legs, I saw oh yeah you have little bumps all over your body i was being bit up by what we call noceums and they're nasty little buggers and you can't see them <laughs> uh yeah but i have bumps all over my legs and i was just thinking how as i was standing there because a good part of this meditation is you're standing with your eyes closed and um, there's another, probably less than half of it, and it's an hour-long meditation, probably less than half of it 
is actually walking. And when you're walking, you know, you don't really notice them or they kind of leave you alone as you're walking. But as I'm standing there getting bit up and yeah, I was scratching and slapping and whatever. And it was sort of hard to focus on the meditation. And I just thought, wow, you know, life is really your meditation. And there's always going to be distractions. There's always going to be things biting at you and biting for your attention. And how quickly we can recover <laughs> from the things in life that distract us. How quickly or how we're able to tune them out, really, and stay in our spiritual practice and in our uplifted high vibe emotions is really the work. The work is every single day. It's not in ceremony. I go to ceremony. I've gone to a bunch of Dr. Joe Dispenza events. That's not the real work. The work is everyday life. The work is continuing to do the meditation and not just packing up and leaving, which actually in the first 10 minutes I thought about, I was like, this is going to be unbearable. How am I going to get through an hour of this? And I just said, no, you're down here. This is a distraction. Life is always going to have distractions. There's always going to be reasons to give up and, and to quit things when it gets hard. And I don't want to be a quitter. I don't want to be a quitter. I've quit a lot of things in my life or I've put them on pause, I should say, because I guess you can't really say you've quit unless it's you've quit a job. <laughs> uh, you just, you know, I heard one person say, oh, it doesn't mean I, it's not that I quit something. I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> so anyways, so that is a message I also wanted to bring to you today on my 52nd birthday. Thanks for watching. Love you.